Hi, Casper here on the 18th of January 2020. Red Burgundy, uh, specifically Red Cote de Beaune, and of course the Cote de Beaune, uh, really more celebrated for its Chardonnays, white wines, than red, um, but not always so. I think uh, quite some time ago, decades ago, uh, wines like this were, were really celebrated and um, uh, much less so now, alas. This is a red Chassin Maraschet uh, and a Premier Cru, no less. So uh, the uh, Clos Saint Jean um, vineyard at the top of the village of Chassin Maraschet, uh, 2011, and it's made by the domain Paul Pio. So um, let's have a look at it. It's. Ah, it's a wine I like a lot, and we've offered several vintages of this wine. I like red Chassin, yeah, and in fact, I've just bought some to offer some red Poligny Marche, which is which is even rarer and an absolute, perf absolutely perfect wine to put in a blind tasting. Um, so the colour has, and it looks like it's it's quite mature. It's. Um, of mahogany through, um, just medium deep really, mahogany to a kind of bricky rim. So it's got some age to it. Looks healthy enough, clear and clear and you know good good colour. It's still got something I often often um, find in red Chassin, which is a very domestic red sort of well, strawberry strawberry aroma really, and it's still got a bit of that, but fresh. A little snap of red, red plum skins as well. It smells, smells good. Hint of mushroom, fresh mushroom about it. Fresh mushroom skins. And that's got lovely snap right through. Real freshness and, and energy. Um, it's not without its structure. The, the tannin is is completely integrated with the fruit and held within, but it's it, the tannin itself is is um, quite sort of piquant and upright, and adds to that sensation of, of freshness, the acidity, it, nice and juicy. Also, well integrated. Going back to it, there's it's almost, there's a citrus note to it, almost a sort of blood orange, or indeed just fresh orange, sort of. Um, Aroma accompanying that that um, the the red red fruit. It's a very airy wine, you know. There's there's no great weight to it, but there's what there is 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 length, persistence, a sort of almost clay like quality to the structure, uh, particularly towards the towards the finish. Um, you know, it's, it's got presence and density, but it's it's all in a much lighter register. Really airy thing. Um, it's a lovely thing. I love the delicacy of it, the elegance, the um, it's, it's yeah, a classy mouthful of wine. It it really is, and um, just time for me to bemoan the loss of wines like this. You know, they, I think the producers uh, for some time have have deemed there to be more. Money to be made in planting wine grapes, and they're probably right about that. Um, so, red wines from Chassin, Chassin and, and Poligny uh, becoming increasingly rare, and perhaps, who knows, soon to disappear completely. Um, but it's a shame because that's a, a really delicious thing. Loving it, yeah, a lovely thing. There we are, it's been 2000, 2011 Chassin Maraschet Premier Cru. Rouge, Clos Saint Jean, uh, from Domaine Paul Pio, and uh, lovely thing it is. I like it a lot.